Um, well, I don't really have any writing rituals per se. I've actually really tried to train myself out of them. I mean, well, well let me just start by saying I need coffee to live. So that's just a ritual of existence. Um, I drink like six to eight cups a day, but um, I've tried to train myself out of writing rituals because I find that if you, you know, can only write when you have this pen or this, your home at this computer, like it gives you all of these excuses to indulge in not writing. And, um, and I think resistance to writing is one of the most important things to break down. Um, so I, I actually can write and do write pretty much anywhere. I actually wrote before I fall my first novel, I was, at the time I was working full time and I was a full time graduate student and I had a part time job working in a nightclub. And the only time I had to write was on my commutes between jobs and commitments. So I wrote most of it on my Blackberry and then I would email it to myself when I got out of the subway. And now, you know, I travel all the time. So I write on planes and the back of cars and on buses and this and that. So, um, you know, pretty much anywhere. If I have my phone or can bust on my computer or write by hand, I'll do it, I'll do it everywhere. So I find that most writing work occurs like, you know, when you're sitting there thinking, you know, at your computer or your Blackberry, just thinking, focusing. But the only times I ever have breakthroughs in writing, like a momentary flash of inspiration or a sudden resolution of a complexity that I've been looking to, to resolve for a long time, it either happens when I'm running or when I'm in the shower. So now I have ruined like several computers because I fling myself out of the shower, run soaking wet and like start typing away on my computer. So I've actually broken computers that way. So then somebody told me, alerted me to the fact that there's actually like a thing you can put in your shower that has a water resistant pen. It's like a whiteboard where I can jot down ideas. So I think I'm gonna invest in one of those because it's definitely less expensive than replacing my MacBook every time. <laughs> Um, I think the most important personality trait um, that you need in order to be a good writer is empathy. I think you need a capacity to understand and care about how other people think, why they feel the way they do, why they act the way they do. And I definitely do believe that I'm an empathetic person. Um, and actually when I was younger, I used to play a game with myself. Most of the games I played when I was younger were just games with myself. but. They, when I would go, be going on the train back and forth from the city to when I took ballet uh, in New York, I would pick a person on the train, somebody very different from me, like a 50 year old man with, you know, turkey chin and business suit. And I would try to get as still as possible and I would imagine myself projected into him, his body, and I would think about where he was going, what kind of family he was returning to. and. You know, I would do this every day, and I really believed I could do it. I really believed at a certain point the boundaries would melt away and I would be that other person. And I think that's amazing training for being a writer because that's kind of what you're doing. You're projecting yourself into somebody else um, and you're learning kind of how to be them. So I think that's huge. And I also think, I mean, in general, I think that one of my strong, strongest character traits, and trust me, I have many flaws, but one of my strongest traits is I'm just an extremely disciplined person. Um, I'm not afraid of work and I know how to work very hard and I like to work very hard. So um, I think that's definitely helped me produce a lot. If I weren't a writer and I could be just good at anything else, I would definitely be a singer and I would more specifically be cast on Glee. So if you Glee producers are looking for anybody to cameo, I just want you to know I'm interested and I'm happy to audition um, at any time. Um, and I would start singing right now, but I'm too embarrassed. Maybe I will anyway. <laughs> On my own, pretending he's beside me. So just contact me for more footage. <laughs>